I'm Sir Dap Dap, and welcome to Let's Play Rabby Ribby. If you copy this game, was sprouted by the publisher, Chapter B Sekai Project. They localize a bunch of visual novels, and I've guessed they've picked up some non visual novels too. This is part Metroid, part cute em up. Um, you'll, you'll see, it, it makes more sense when you see it, but um, it controls much like a platformer, but bosses are like slightly bullet hell. Well, it depends on your difficulty level, really. We're not going to be playing on the super hard difficulty level. Not yet. Um, this game... I had a lot of trouble with this game at first. It um, it wanted to show up on a different monitor than my middle monitor is, and it caused me some frustration. But it actually has a, some really good options. It's It performs really well. It, it's a very well-made game, actually. Uh, I was just a little frustrated at first getting it to get going. Um, you can manually set dead zones. How many games let you do that? I mean, more of them probably should, but... Uh, you can set the... Oh, man, that is so cool. I didn't even see that one. But yeah, you can remap your gamepad, keyboard. Uh, I'm using my Xbox One Elite controller, as always. Um, you can set the text speed. I, it has that, you know, slowly appearing text. I always prefer that on instant. And it's an option, which is good. Um, display difficulty, speedrun detail. Oh, speedrun, that's, re that's really cool. I don't have speedrun mode unlocked. Not sure multi-account or custom voice. Like, I guess that's... Let's see, customize the voice acting and stuff? See, I have started the game before. I don't... My autosave isn't important. So yeah, I'll start here, so I know which one is the Let's Play. Eh? Oh. So here, there's five, or er, six difficulty levels. I don't even have two of them unlocked. I really appreciate when games explain their difficulty level. Um, this one doesn't say exactly <laughs> what it changes, but it does, you know. Oh yeah, no damage reduction buff after game over. Oh, that's cool! So it does explain some of what it does. But yeah, I'm gonna play on Novice. It says it's recommended for the first playthrough. Um, and I just kind of want a calm experience right now. I just got off of playing some more. Slightly more frustrating games. Oh, sorry. I should probably leave the slow text on so I don't go too fast. Wait, why is the ground so hard? There's something else here too. There's more plot than I expected in this game, but uh, it's a very interesting game. It, it seems to have drawn some inspiration from Bunny Must Die, but it's also a very different game. So yes, we are a bun. What is this place? Wasn't I sleeping next to Master and Miru? Why am I here? Is this another of Miru's pranks? Master, Miru, are you here? Yes, I am the voice of cute, adorable Bunny. You have to deal with that. Something's wrong, Master. Sorry, my voice is kind of giving out. <clears throat> I am Arena. I am talking. I am a talking bunny. This is normal. Talking? Hold on. Am I really talking? I thought I was just imagining things. What's going on? Bunnies can't talk. Can it be? And then John was a bunny. That's the face you make when you realize you are a human rabbit. What's this? I've turned into a human. Is this real? Things like this don't happen. That's something that would happen in a video game. But my ear bunny ears or tail are still there. Am I still a bunny? Your 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 tail is clearly attached to your outfit, but I'll I'll let that slide. Bunny turning into a human? It's impossible. I must be dreaming. But I'll feel so real. What's going on? Body, stop shaking. I know you're scared. Boo-hoo. Whenever Master saw me like this, she always come to comfort me. I will admit, I'm I'm glad the Master is apparently like this is apparently like a real bunny, so I guess the Master thing is less creepy than it initially sounds. But I'm also glad Master is female, because you you know things could get weird with Japanese writing. Anyway, Master, where are you? What happened to me? What is this place? Wait, never mind where Master is. Where am I? Stop feeling scared. This is not a dream. Staying here won't solve anything. 
bunny sound. Standing on two feet is tricky. Doesn't this get tiring? I, I just noticed she has one thigh high. J just, just one. I'm not sure how you... Whatever. Is this a mirror? Master had, said, had something like this at home too. So it looked like this. Purple hair? Is that cute? I don't really get it. I think it looks nice. A bunny assessed with her looks. Master teased me a lot about this. Why, why, why does Master know what you... I'm a little confused. Master, I will find you. So yeah. It's a platformer. You can skip events. It's basically all that says. So as you will see soon here, we have a Metroidvania map. We do not have many abilities yet. Arena? Is that you, Arena? <coughs> I need to take a break here and recover my voice after the end of this cutscene. That voice, is it Miru? Is Miru here too? Miru usually sounds so tired, but her voice was different just now. Yeah, the flicker effect is a little exaggerated, as you also- there was a photosensitivity warning. I mean, most shoot 'em up style games tend to need that, because I mean, lots of moving, flashing stuff. Awake at last, little bunny? It's time to send you back. Come over here now. Is that Master's voice? Voice? A different one? Oh yeah, her sprite is missing one uh, thingy too, which makes the mirroring of the sprites significantly more obvious, but whatever. Drawing non beard sprites, like, it adds a lot of work. See, this game must have been inspired by Bunny Must Die, because it's like... It's way too coincidental. Uh, it even has some of the same sound effects. Uh, I think there must be like some sound pack for free in Japan because I've heard some of the same sound effects in a bunch of different um, Japanese games that aren't necessarily by the same people either. Arena, are you finally here? I guess this is home. Hello, spooky black silhouette. How are you doing? Is that you, Miru? It is. You're here too. What's wrong? You don't look so good. Hold on. This is as far as you go, little bunny. Miru? What are you talking about? Off you go, little bunny. I will take care of this girl for now. Why do you sound so strange? What's that on your body? No more questions. You'll have lots to do when you get back. I still need to work on my voices for stuff like this. I, I, is it appreciated that I'm trying to talk for these? I hope so. A few people asked. I, I'm going to try to do it for a bunch of videos here. I know everyone loves bunnies, but you should rest if you feel tired. She seems to have fainted from exhaustion. A good nap should fix everything. It's going to be tough remembering so many names. This girl, I don't think I know her. And... Hmm? Oh. Hold on. Is this really happening? Is this really happening? If it is, then this girl is... What do I do? This is really unexpected. My heart isn't ready for this. Are you from Alice in Wonderland or something? You, you got the, the clock. The pocket watch. Is this really okay? Cal cal calm down. Don't call the police on yourself. Prologue. Bunny meets fairy. Aww. The sprites are really cute. Despite the... There is some bullet hell aspects in this game, but um, at least on novice mode, it hasn't seemed very hard. I've only played, I think, a half hour? Maybe an hour? I'm not sure. But uh, it wasn't very hard so far. No, not really. Strange. Why am I here? What happened? Where's the strange place in Miru? Are they gone? Was it a dream? No, I can still talk. I still look like a human. You feeling better now? You'll catch cold if you sleep out here. Question mark? Oh, sorry. I was thinking you didn't notice you. Are you looking after me? How could I have fallen asleep here? I guess so. Nothing happened. I was just waiting for you to wake up. I did not take pictures of you in your sleep or anything that strange people that aren't me would do. Totally. 
Ahem. Really, how nice of you. I'm so lucky to meet someone as kind as Master. Don't smile at me like that. You have ears, too. You have, like, droopier ears. Well, I guess we both have droopy ears. Whatever. Sorry, I have to go now. Maybe we'll meet again. Do you have to leave right now? Oop. Yep, she's gone. Is she in a hurry? Wait, isn't she a friend of Master's? She used to come and play with me at home. I didn't notice. Never mind this body for now. Maybe if I follow her, I can find Master. I promise the whole game isn't constant talking, but as always, there's a whole bunch of talking at the start. Wait, you there with the bunny ears! You can't go through here! Speech is closed for now, so that's off limits. Really? I'm sorry. Excuse me, but is Master Rumi's house this way? Master Rumi? You mean Rumi of Rabbi Rabbi Town? Sure, it's past here, through the beach, which you can't go through, because I hate you. Then across the small ravine, which you also can't go to, because I still hate you. I haven't hated you any less in the last two sentences, so there. <clears throat> this way is closed right now, though. Can you please wait a while? You're free to go ahead and search for your bunnies? Excuse me? Exactly! Search for bunnies, question mark? Thank you anyway. I'll wait then. So all I can do is wait here. This place looks familiar. Could be where I was adopted by Master? I should check it out and try out my human form. Alright. We can talk to people. The beach is this way, and so is Rabbi Rabbi Town. Ah. No, I don't wanna. It's interesting the whole dialogue box changes colors <laughs> when you, uh, when a different person is talking. We can't hurt these yet. So you just need to avoid them. Searching for bunnies again? Find anything yet? Why, why does everyone know me? Excuse me? Chiding my cat over here. But yeah, this game has a lot going on. Um, we can't do very much yet, obviously, but it has Paper Mario style badges. And there's, there's, there's a whole bunch of really cool polished stuff in this like, the little animation here. Uh, there's a cute little animation that plays when you get a new thing, too. There's town members, apparently. There's a diary for like stuff that you're doing, I guess, and buffs. And how to Rabbi, and you can access the tutorial. It's just it's a really polished game, and it's not quite what I was expecting. I was expecting cute, fun thing, and I mean, it does seem to be that. But it's also a lot more. Don't you think these bunny creatures are cute? You need some protection to touch them, though. Go away, bunny slimes. Hammer time! Pico hammer. This is the little animations every time you pick something up. So yeah, Y to attack, repeal you for a combo. And you get you get experience for each of your weapons. So for right now, this one is all we get. Oh, and you also have standard bullet hell slow movement if you you have to hold to the attack button, which I'm not sure I feel about that yet, but I haven't really needed super slow movement for any bosses yet. Oop. And since so it's a Metroidvania, not a normal like, plain old platformer, so, uh, falling in holes just means you're going to a different map, not Doom. Ugh, stop using the analog stick tap tap. They say the spectral cave is under the forest, but where's the entrance? I do not know. See, so yeah, as a Metroidvania, there's lots of nice little exploring and stuff. And you can also level up your hammer and your other weapons. You can't use it in the air yet. But as you level up, you'll get, uh... Hopefully it'll level up soonish. One complaint I did have, I like I said, I played this for about an hour before already. I cannot find out how to tell what level I have for weapons. So like I'm level one because I haven't leveled up yet, but uh, once you level up, like you get a bunch of different weapons and it's, I'm not sure if you can even keep track of what level things are. It doesn't seem to matter a huge amount. But uh, it'd certainly be nice to know, because I like to... I'm, you know, a little completion-y. This is the place! This is my old home! You, you lived in this old... I guess... Oh, you're... I guess as a rabbit that makes sense, never mind. I never thought I'd come back here. How long ago was that? Wow, my pile of grass is still here! It looks so soft right now. My pile of... This body won't fit inside it. What a pity. 
Everything that way should be familiar with me. I wonder if anything has changed? Save points! See, I'll save that far away from my other save. Where's your pile of grass, Parky? I guess this is home. Hello. This heel stone can be used can make sleeping unnecessary. Bees can also shorten your lifespan. Not sure if that rumor is true. Hmm. I wonder if that's like a reference to if it like adds time to speedrun mode? Because Bunny Must Die does that. Oops. It adds time when you save. Yeah, this is one of the more important but easy upgrades to get you. Extends your range of attack. My voice is kind of destroyed already, so I think once we beat our first boss, ow, <coughs> I'll go ahead and save the game and uh, continue next time. I I might play this whole game. I, I really like it, and uh, it doesn't seem too painfully stressful or anything. Uh, I probably won't be playing it blind, because I just want to continue enjoying it my own dang self. But, uh, but yeah, it seems like something I, I kind of want to show all of it. What is with all the bread mushrooms? Now I have to go all the way out here. These are big enough to, to be worth it, though. With so many up for grabs in the forest, why would anyone ever buy them? Oh, wonderful! I found Miss Kitty! Miss Kitty, she looks familiar. Could she be a friend of Master's? Hi, Miss Kitty. Also, I appreciate that the animal ears people don't have normal ears. It's weird to me. When you've got the cat ears and the normal ears, it's like, I don't know, makes me uncomfortable. Yikes, who is it? Don't sneak up on people like that. These forest creatures are getting to me. Hey, Miss Kitty. Not all the mushrooms are good. The bright red ones might be poisonous. Don't underestimate me, whoever you are. I'm an expert on these. I don't know what you know about Japanese culture, but I'm an expert. Their eyes glow a little when they change positions for some reason. I guess to draw attention to it. Anyway, probably because we were very poor and we had to search everywhere for food. Miss Kitty? Poor? You must be a friend of Master's then. I knew it. Master? I've never seen you before. Who are you? Wait, bunny ears? You must be one of those bunny lovers. With all those people wearing bunny ears. I must have tuned them out. I don't understand, Miss Kitty. I know I look like this now, but I'm Mr. Mr. Master Rumi's bunny. I was hoping Miss Kitty would take me to Master. Back off, weirdo. I may be poor, but I'll never join your group of crazies. Using Rumi's missing bunny as bait. This is the third time you've tried this trick. Wait, you must be mistaken. I really am. What are you doing? I told you to back off. What are you doing? Obligatory boss fight. And bosses have, like, defense that activate sometimes. Sometimes you just do very little damage. Sometimes you seem to go straight through a boss. Or sometimes you just don't do any damage. Sometimes you do a little damage. So you get, we get just a teeny taste of bullet hell stuff. Here we go. Oh wait, no, no, not really. But as you can see, at least on novice, the bullet hell stuff isn't too pronounced quite yet. Yeah, here we go. This is where you start to get a feel for it, but, uh, ow. It's not really hugely painful. I actually managed to avoid this entirely my first playthrough, but, uh, I guess I'm not feeling it as much today. There you go! Hammer speed increased. Yeah, there's lots of different level ups. Like, it's not all just more combos. You can get more combos, you can get faster attacks, you can get more range, you can get more damage. You can get, like, upward strikes. It's pretty cool. No violence! Who hits people with a hammer? Y you, 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 you attacked me first. This is such a cute em up thing to happen. The bosses have absolutely no reason to attack you, but they do anyway. And then they just get mad at you. I won't be beaten! I won't lose this to the likes of you. Hey, could you just stop and listen to me? How dare you hate bunny-loving weirdos. As a professional bunny-loving weirdo, I'm offended. Bye, Miss Kitty. Don't go, Miss Kitty. What's going on? Bunny-loving weirdos? But I am a bunny. Maybe I've got the wrong person. 
I don't understand anything she said. But she could help. I should go back now before I stray too far. I like that it says what the name of the music that's playing is. Carrot bomb! Throw some carrot bombs. Boom. So yeah, carrot bombs, basically morph ball bombs. You just throw them. I'm not sure where. I guess they just come out of her cleavage. But you just have a bunch of them. They deal extremely little damage, which is why when I got them, I just spammed the heck out of them. And uh, got a bunch of level ups here. If I have to farm... Damn, that thing hurt. If I have to farm, I will probably go ahead and do it off screen, but I'll show you... I just want to show you how many... Um, different types of level ups the carrot bomb can get. You can you level up the carrot bomb very quickly, probably because it deals so little damage and isn't really a combat weapon. It's mostly to do this. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save that here, and uh, I'll definitely be continuing this one. Um, do you got any words to send us off, Parker? As you just obscure my screen here. Yeah, that's right. You're pissed. Yes. I hope you can hear his little squeaks. Yeah, my <coughs> my voice will not survive another half-hour video, so I'm gonna head to go ahead and end this first segment here.